Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about group by usage in PySpark. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So friends, today we will see the scenario. Let's say we have a product table which has product ID, product category ID, product name, product description, product present, product image, some, some uh, columns. So the scenarios will be like get the total product price. So here you can see that product price is there for each product category ID, this second column and rename that as total sales. See product category ID as total sales and then add some literal to the product description. So here currently null is there or some okay some other with column operations we have to do let's say see in day to day scenarios this is very common for um, summing up the total for some uh, based on some condition okay where we have to apply some group by so now we will see what will happen if we directly apply group by and how to resolve that and how can we do that in PySpark okay so this uh, similar scenario has been discussed uh, uh, in Scala in the previous videos please do watch if you want in PySpark this video will help you so so here yeah friends uh, this is the data frame one which is having the products uh, dot C products uh, data product ID product category ID and all that this is the first uh, table so now I have just uh, taken the count of product category ID just to see how many different uh, types of product category IDs we have and uh, how many count uh, what is a count on count of records for each product category ID I have got the basic information already and I am sure, uh, showing it here so that we can save some time next now what we have to do is get the total price for each product category ID as total sales and then add some literal to the product description so now before thinking about the functionality just put this in a data frame okay so now we already have uh, data frame one here okay df1 so i'll say df2 equal to df1 dot i mean this is not the correct way but still i just wanted to show what kind of error we get for that uh, i'm typing it here so now what we have to do is first we have to group by category id then based on the grouping only we have to sum up the values correct so for that what we have to do is group by product category id and then we have to rename that as well right to total sales total sales now here to sum of product price and then what we have to do we have to add another column saying that product description right in the product description we have to put some literal I'll say product one something okay something I'm just uh, yes, that's for example now let's say df2 dot show now when I run this code it will give you the error saying that group data object has no attribute with column okay which means that in PySpark here what error it is uh, telling you is after grouping you cannot use the with column option got it and uh, let's say if you are doing this with column of total sales before group by it will sum up all the product prices irrespective of product category IDs which is wrong correct we need for each product let's say see it should first it should group by how many sevens are there 24 rows are there so it should calculate the sum of these 24 rows only we don't want the total of this uh, how many total ca uh, count is there no for that we don't want the uh, total of product price we want uh, group by product category id okay so for that what we have to do is this is wrong this is the error you get if you want if you wanted to use any data frame operations like with column or filter or anything after the group by you get this kind of error so for that what you have to do is 
do like df2 df1 and first let's import the functions okay from pyspark dot sql import functions f why because we will be using sum and literal functions here no so this is better if we do it in this uh, data bricks you may have already been i have never tried but still in the project you have to import this otherwise it will fail saying that uh, this is not found i mean this lit is uh, not able to find some some kind of errors you get exceptions you get so now df2 equal to now what you have to do is first you have to group by the data that's by default right so product category id now after the group by you can use only aggregation okay because after the group by it has to aggregate based on the group data other than aggregation it will not allow you anything okay so now instead of hard coding i am just uh, putting here one variable here here i am saying that f dot sum of product price here f means this functions this is the standard function for, from PySpark and sum, sum is the standard function so I am just uh, from this library I am taking this sum and this is the column name which we need to find the total of this product price for each product category ID ok so I will pass this here that's it and then now let's see what will happen if I just say df.show is showing some pyspark.sql import as if okay sorry mm. so if you can see here for each product id we have got the sum of product price you can cl clearly see here right the aggregation has happened and we did not get any error here now we have to rename this correct so here after the aggregate list just give alias of total sales and let's say you have two or more columns to do like this maybe some of this and then you have something called uh, alia uh, average of something then what you have to do is uh, you put something okay f dot avg of something okay or if f dot sum of some other column or f dot count of something okay whatever uh, you have then pass that aggregation list you are passing here right you put comma at the end and you can again pass like this how many aggregations you have you can continuously pass it inside these braces and you can put aliases same as well just put comma and you pass it how many aggregations you wanted to do so now let's run this and you can see here the header has been changed no need to use the with column renamed option so now what else we have to do we have to then add some literal to the product description so after this we can use the with column what is the column name description i'll just uh, verify it okay small p okay comma if we have to put some literal value product one now if I run this code it will add the product description as product one so after group by it should be always an aggregation after that you can perform any kind of data frame functions you can use a data frame API methods you can use after that so this is how we can use group by in PySpark okay so now let's say most of the cases we have to join the data and then perform the group by right so here I have another table called uh, categories as well I'll make it as 3 here because above df2 we have used and I'll say df3 dot show this is uh, categories dot csv now we'll see what kind of data is present inside that category id 
category department ID and category name. This category ID is equal to the product category ID in the products table. Okay. So now df4 equal to df1 dot join df3. So here let's say you have to have the join condition let's say create a variable called join condition and inside that you can if uh, if the column names are same right then you can just mention for example if the column names are same between two table you can just say product id comma uh, product something okay if you send like this means if the same columns in the both the table then you can pass this join condition here as a second parameter to this join function third parameter will, would be either inner or whatever join you wanted to perform right by, by default uh, it is inner so if you wanted to put out left outer right outer this is the third parameter you can use in the join so now we don't want we want only inner join which is by default it will take no need to pass as a third parameter so this way you can pass but here for us category id in the categories table and product categories id category id in the a products table so that time what you have to do is you create a variable and say df1 product id equal to df3 category id and pass this here and actually we can do the same thing we have done right this uh, group by okay so here that's it and you can see here for each product the so total sales and now here instead of uh, product category we will take it from the second table because here we have the um, aggregation list it has taken from the above okay um, this aggregation list is present in the product table category id is present in the categories table so now we have joined both and we have got clear so this is how we can uh, perform the group by operations in the code okay so the first scenario we have seen second one is join products with categories and get the total sales for each category id that we have done hope uh, this is clear to you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you